Hi guys, this is a story of a 16 years old Michonne Campbell who was stabbed to death by her classmates. This story is heart wrenching, really. So, this girl, Michonne Campbell, had a classmate who is 17 years old. Her classmate's name is yet unknown. But we understand the girls, the two girls, got into an altercation two days before the 29th of September. And this altercation was simply because of hearsay, not because of anything very tangible. But it seemed to have been a situation that was taken so serious by the two girls and they were not willing to shield their swords so what began as words traded by both girls was soon going to turn into a nightmare on thursday 29th of september 2022 on that day at about 2 30 pm after the girls closed from school but right in the school premises, they began exchanging words again. And this time around, Michonne Campbell was charging up to the other girl and she kept telling her, you can't do me nothing. And both girls were seen in the video exchanging words and obviously ready to get physical with themselves. But Michonne Campbell's friends um, held her back, ensuring she didn't get into a physical fight with the other girl. But Mission soon escaped from their grip and went right in front of the other girl and charged up at her, telling her, you can't do me nothing. What unsuspecting Mission Campbell didn't know was that the other girl had come to school highly prepared. The other girl had brought a knife to a fist fight. So while Mission was charging at her she just opened up her skirt and brought out a knife to the surprise of onlookers students who were watching them fight and she did not waste a second after she brought out that knife she collared mission and she began stabbing mission on her left on the left side of her neck and also the left side of her head Mission began to bleed, but people did not really know that it was that bad until a female security in the school summoned courage to pull the other girl off uh, Mission's neck. And as soon as she pulled the girl off Mission, Mission staggered a bit and then fell to the ground. Other students, you know, distanced, the, distanced themselves as soon as Mission fell to the ground. Others were filming the whole incident instead of coming to her aid, except one student who quickly rushed to offer first aid to Mission, but it was almost late already. She tried to stop the bleeding, but that didn't really work until Mission was rushed to the hospital um, by the proprietor of the school, we understand alongside the girl, the student who was offering her first aid. In the girl's account, she watched Mission breathe her last breath in the car because she was with her uh, in the, inside the car. And Mission was gasping for air, according to this other girl who offered her first aid. She said she was gasping for air and suddenly her her hands became very stiff and her eyes rolled up and her tongue stuck out. She just knew that Mission was dead, but she didn't say anything to the staff of the school who was driving to the hospital. She just kept saying, hurry, hurry. And when they got to the hospital, they took Mission into the hospital and there in the hospital, she was sadly confirmed dead. That's really didn't have to happen and we understand that the school kingston technical high school has a standard security um protocols 
we understand they have a security metal gate that checks in students however that metal gate checks only male students while the female students are only searched now i guess those this uh, classmate of mission this classmate of mission took advantage of the fact that female students will not go through the metal gates but just search that was why she hid the knife right under this her skirt i guess she was wearing a tight underneath her skirt where she slipped in the knife conveniently you know, and at this point, I am wondering, I am seriously wondering what could make students to begin to take weapons to school? Is there any form of threat existing right in the school? The school really needs to look deeply into what is happening as there may be guns that are being formed right under their noses without the authority knowing. They need to do a thorough investigation to know if there are guns that are being formed in the school by the students. I mean, why would a student conveniently take a knife to school just to harm another student to the extent of killing? It really breaks my heart. And I know so many parents out there are heartbroken at this news because it just goes to show that students are replicating things that they see in the society these kids don't just come up with these behaviors they see these things happen in society and then they go ahead to replicate them uh, among their peers sadly we understand that the 17 years old who stabbed mission campbell to death sustained an injury during the fight on her wrist and she was also taken to the hospital she was treated and handed over to the police um, as it is right now she is not 18 we do not know the laws in Jamaica but I am guessing that she is cons considered a minor if that is the case of course she will be sent to juvenile how whatever happens we we hope that the law will be allowed to take its course and in full. It is a terrible, terrible tr news. It's a tra tragedy that didn't have to, to happen. And we send our condolence to Mission Campbell's mother, who was seen uh, heartbroken, and her entire family and loved ones. Parents, if you're watching this, please take a moment to have a talk with your words and teach them how to manage conflict. Teach them that violence is not the way out. This didn't have to happen. And we do hope that there will be no uh, recurrence of such ugly incident in any school, in any country at all. So guys, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please subscribe and do all to turn on your notifications so you'll be the first to know when next we upload a story. If you enjoyed watching this video, please like it, comment on your thoughts and do well to share this video. In the meantime, guys, take care of yourself, take care of your emotions, take care of your mental health, be kind to yourself, be kind to the people around you, and always be safe. I remain Darkest Igeo Lukun, and I love you.